Golden Bears. Well, he is, really is. He leads the nation in assists, 9.1, averaging over 16 points, and also leads the team in steals. So he does it all. I mean, the way he leads this ball club is the way Cal is going to go. Well, it's a big order to stop this young man because, as you point out, he controls the floor out there. And this uh, team that he's playing, however, has a very structured kind of a defense. Dick Bennett's Phoenix has a plan. The plan is get back on defense, that's for sure, but they have to execute man-to-man -man defense strictly, and they have to keep the ball out of Jason Kidd's hands. But Gary Grash, a sophomore who's an All-American soccer player, so he's good on his feet, has to stay up with Jason Kidd, and that's going to be a task. That is a task and a test. Now, of course, the Golden Bears don't solely on Kidd. Lamont Murray's having quite a year scoring for them. Yes, he is. He's averaging over 24 points, and he has range. He can go inside, outside, and Eric LeDuc, the senior, uh, strictly a defensive player, doesn't score much, is going to train him. Well, these Golden Bears uh, with a 22-7 and seven mark, remarkable season, but to consider the string of injuries they've had, they lost two probable starters early in the season, Alfred Ian, K.J. Roberts, and then later on, one of their valuable reserves, Randy Duck, on with a wrist injury, but still they managed to stick together, and we talked to, J managed to, stick together, and we talked to Jason Kidd, who's clearly the leader on this team, about the unity they have now. I think the most important thing now is we have confidence with uh, with each other. You got to be a, a unit to uh, be successful in the tournament, and that's what uh, I feel confident about right, right now is that everybody is on the same page and on the same line. Well, the starting lineups this afternoon at forwards for Wisconsin Green Bay will be Jeremy Ludvigson and Eric Leduc. We talked about him. Resch will be joined by John Martinez in the backcourt with Jeff Nordgaard, the center. For the Golden Bears, the forwards will be Lamont Murray, joined by Michael Stewart, a freshman from Sacramento. Kid in the backcourt with Monty Buckley in the center is Ryan Jamison, a junior from Los Angeles. Dick Bennett, the coach of Wisconsin Green Bay, the number 12 seed here in his 18th year of coaching. In the NCAA, more than 500 victories. His team won the Mid-Continent Conference Tournament, beating Illinois-Chicago in the final 61-56. to 56. He is highly regarded. Todd Bozeman, just in his second year. But what a start he had last year for the California Golden Bears. This season in the Pac-10, a 13-5 mark, good for second place. They are an at-large entry in the tournament with a record of 22-7, their most victories since back in the 59-60 season. They've won three of their last four games, despite having lost those three key players as the season has gone on. The Golden Bears control Jason Kidd, California in white, Green Bay, Wisconsin in green. You, know, you talked about the injuries for Cal, and their bench is not very deep, but they've gone with these players all season long. They're very conditioned, the Cal Bears. Murray missing the opening shot. And Martinez losing it off the hand of Kidd, and so the Phoenix maintain possession here in the opening seconds of play. John Martinez, a senior from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They're very deliberate on their offense. They look for the wide open shot. Dixon feeding inside. Now it's picked out for Martinez. There's a steal nicely anticipated by Michael Stewart. Kid trying to fire it down to Buckley. That goes out of bounds. It'll be Cal, California ball. Cal might have the advantage as far as athletic-wise. And so in playing a team like Green Bay, Wisconsin, they have to be patient and not get too frustrated because Green Bay, Wisconsin is going to play such fundamental basketball. Murray called with a travel. Still scoreless, opening minute. Obviously a pace also that the Phoenix would like to slow down and keep the score low. Nordgaard opens the scoring. Jeff Nordgaard, the sophomore from Dawson, Minnesota. Murray for Jason Kidd. Buckley inside. Jamison has it stolen away by Martinez. Three turnovers already by the Golden Bears. Martinez started a three, passes it off, and it's outside to Crush. They can move that ball and the lefty off the iron. Get back the other way. Kids jumper right on the three-point line. Norgard rebounding. Gary Gresh, real good defense right in Jason Kidd's hand. Face, 
but kid just saying, hey, I missed it. Just a little too hard. That's his first shot, just trying to feel himself out. Well, there's a feeling that he's going to be surprised at how difficult it is to penetrate. Nordgaard driving, kid rebounding. They expect to cut him off, close the lanes, penetration and passing lanes against Kidd today. That's what they want to do. Well, their defense is so strong. There's another turnover by Cal, and you see Green Bay, Wisconsin slowing the tempo down. But Green Bay, Wisconsin, they are so tough on defense, they really help each other out. They're a team where they switch on defense and rotate. The Duke got side, the forward. Off the fresh to Martinez. Martinez driving, good block by Jason Kidd. Nordgaard follows, and Nordgaard hits for the Phoenix. 26 victories, six defeats for Wisconsin Green Bay, their second NCAA tournament. And they won the Mid-Continent Conference Tournament, defeating Illinois Chicago in the final. You know, one of the reasons Cal's turning the ball over so much, they're just not executing. There's a nice pass down low inside. Won't go for Jamison. Even though Jamison misses it, Cal finally got really a good shot selection that time. Lord guard rebounding, fresh driving on Buckley. And it is LeDuc. LeDuc only averages four points a game. He's already halfway there. Six to zip, Wisconsin Green Bay. Kid slowing it down, setting up the play for the Golden Bear. So far, Kid also holds the record for lowest pants in the tournament. It is early, however. We're waiting for him to come off. Huh? <laughs> we have two more games to go, so but he's the leader in the clubhouse. And he's hiking them up. Well, here's the one big key that Green Bay, Wisconsin has to do, get back on defense. And here you can see five jerseys in the picture and really the trailing of the white jerseys so they've stopped the break of Jason Kidd in the open court. Ludvigsen picks up the first foul. Dick Bennett was running some great plays in practice yesterday. Very, I should very say. impressive practice. Uh, this is such a disciplined team, organized, calm, and poised. They're going to be tough for anybody. Mason Kidd. Murray lets it fly off the mark. The Duke trying for the rebound, but it's taken by the Bears and then comes back to Green Bay. This is not the kind of pace that Cal likes to be in either. They like to up tempo. They like to get running, get in the open floor. Bears have Akilah Jones, one of their few substitutes available in the game, the senior from San Francisco, number 33. We have a timeout on the floor, 15 57 to go. First half, Wisconsin 6 to zip. Tony Gregory, Cincinnati, Ohio, 83,000 miles. Sandy Carl, Atworth, Georgia, 98,000 miles. Jim Bobbitt, Broomall, Pennsylvania, 110,000 miles. We can't promise you the very same mileage these Michelin owners got. But we can promise you this, the very same peace of mind. Michelin. you expect from the country that invented rock and roll. This time around, we'll dance. We'll dance down the rooftops. Dance of the thunder. And we'll ride the rhythm. Because everything's possible. Topping thin crust pizzas just $12.99 plus three months of showtime free. It's a hot deal. It's a cool deal. A diamond knows I want it. I need it. Deal. Two medium, two top.
topping thin crust pizza is just $12.99, plus three months of great entertainment on Showtime. Free! Something for nothing when you call down and know. Tonight, laugh along with Sally Field, <laughs> Carly Simon, and Robert Duvall. Spouses who overspend on the next Dave. Dick Bennett, not exactly a household name in the college coaching ranks, except among his peers, where he is somewhat of a guru. He's highly, highly respected. Of course, his son, Tony Bennett, the benefit uh, beneficiary of his dad's coaching, now playing with Charlotte in the NBA. And his daughter, Kathy, also is a coach at UW Oshkosh. She's the head women's basketball coach there. There's a steal by Martinez on the feed from Jones. Akila Jones topping it up. Crash to Berlowski's in the game now. Good three-point shooter, Ben Berlowski for the Phoenix, number 34. The Duke outside, the 6'7 senior forward. Berlowski in the corner, kid on him. Ten seconds on the shot clock. This is the kind of offense that Green Bay likes to run. They'll use a lot of that clock. And there's the shot with three left, but it's missed by Berlowski. And kid rebound. For Buckley, and Buckley never got the shot off. He's fouled by Nordgaard and may have gotten poked in the eye inadvertently. And this is what's going to happen for Cal if they can get the defensive rebound and go. You see Green Bay, Wisconsin getting back and a little reach in by number 34, Ben Berlowski. You can see his vision. He just sees the whole court, and they want to run like that. Berlowski's first foul. Buckley hits the first one. And the first two Cal points, 6-2. Wisconsin Green Bay leading with 14-56 remaining first half. See Cal looking for a half-court trap right here. And they show it on Berlowski, but he controls Nordgaard, however. Bothered by Kidd, chopped it up. Jason Kidd for Buckley and Berlowski. Good job to break that up. Nordgaard stolen by Kidd. And Kidd comes up with the points. A foul is called on Berlowski, his second in less than a minute. Jason Kidd, 93 steals on the year, 110 last year. He led the Pac-10 in single season record, but his defense is what makes things happen. Look, he's right there. You're going to see the ball inside and comes right behind with the steal, and then he comes down with another steal on the other end. And the foul occurred before the shot, so it remains 6-2. Wisconsin Green Bay, California ball. Kidd inbounding. Murray outside. Anwar McQueen in the lineup, number 14. And again, Kidd hits after the whistle. California personal foul, number 33, Achille Jones. His Jones personal foul. Pick up a foul for the Golden the Bears. The ball goes to Wisconsin Green Bay. Still 6 to 2. Anwar McQueen, a freshman from Washington, D.C., in the lineup for the Golden Bears with Jones. Kids. Murray. Green Bay possession. Those long passes by Wisconsin Green Bay is going to catch up to them because Cal is a very quick team. They can step into that passing lane. North guards turn around is short. Covered by Lamont Murray. Kids pull it past to Murray, and Murray trying the three, can't get it. North guard rebounding. Good boards by the Phoenix. Resch for Martinez. And he hits from three. John Martinez. Averages 10.2 points a game, and he's got three here. Cal right now a little frustrated, Tim, because they are having to play this half-court game. They need to loosen up a little bit. Not run so much, but execute in the half-court game and run. Buckley missing. And the Golden Bears, cool shooting as well. Berlowski rebounds. And now that the Bears have to play defense, they have to play defense for at least 20 to 25 seconds, if not 30, because Green Bay was Wisconsin Green Bay. I don't know whether I should mix that up. I'll just say the Phoenix for now on. <laughs> just call them Green Bay. They're Green used Bay. to that. Think of the pack. The Golden Bears 
zero for six from the floor. There are only two points from the free throw line. Nordgaard inside. He's got it with five yeah, seconds left on the shot clock. Eleven to two. Six points for Nordgaard. California still looking for a field goal. Seven and a half minutes gone. A little more than that now here in the first half. What's happening with Cal in their offense right now, they're just going through the motion offense. They're not setting screen. Guys aren't coming off the picks and waiting for them to open themselves up. McQueen, three-pointer missing. It'll be Phoenix Ball. Substitutions for California. Number 52, Ryan Jamison at number 44. Just very patient on offense. They don't get rattled. Nice pass inside. Jeff Norgard going underneath to protect the ball. Also with the Phoenix. Nice little reverse shot. You see, that's what's frustrating when you get a lot of great athletes. They're looking to run up and down the court. And even when you do play in the half-court game, not saying that Green Bay doesn't have good athletes. They do. But as far as executing, they're a lot more patient within their offense, and they don't get rattled when the shot clock is down to 30. Michael Stewart back in for California. Eric Jackson, number 12, in for Wisconsin Green Bay. That shot probably was a little too quick for them. We talked about the Bears not having that deep a bench, but also Green Bay cannot afford to get into foul trouble. Their key guys have certain roles to play, and if they're on the bench, they're not going to help their teammates. Logan Vanderbilt, a number 32, picked up the foul. He had just come in for the Phoenix. Kid for McQueen. Mason Kidd, three-pointer is short. Jackson rebounding for Green Bay. In the corner, Vanderbilt, and yes, for two. I think a lot of people are surprised right now the way things are going for Green Bay. A lot of them are happy, but the Bears. Jim Ryan and Ann Myers back here on the campus of Weber State in Ogden, Utah, Wisconsin. Green Bay a 13-2 lead. And Jason Kidd and his teammates still looking for their first field goal. As you can see, Wisconsin, Green Bay, five assists, none for the Golden Bears. They have only scored two points from the line. And we have 11.28 to go in the half. Cal a little surprised and a little frustrated. They need to be more patient in their half-court offense. Set some good picks. Don't take the first open shot. Make sure you're wide open, and there you see McQueen. McQueen. Really Air. kind of not a good shot selection. Air ball grabbed by Berlowski. Berlowski and Jackson, Gresh. Van der Velden. Where the frustration comes to, Tim, you're playing good, hard defense, and then all of a sudden there's the, McQueen's going to be called for a foul. It adds to the frustration because now the clock is reset for 35 seconds. And your frustration is, hey, you want to get some points. You want to get going. You're having to play defense the whole time, and nothing has happened for you. So they have to have something positive happen off a steal, off a defensive rebound, and then they have to convert. McQueen picking up the foul for the Golden Bears. Phoenix possession. They've got Jeff Zavada in the lineup. Reserve center number 55, a senior from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And Jackson hits. He is a 48% three-point shooter off the bench for the Phoenix, widening the lead 16-2. Murray missing. And the follow, finally, the first field goal scored by Jamison, the center. At 10-24 in the first half. Phoenix substituting freely here, and the theory there on the part of Dick Bennett at this altitude particularly may be to try and wear down this undermanned Golden Bear team. With fresh legs, the miss underneath from Gresh, kid rebounding, and Murray off the glass missing, got his own rebound, he's all tied up, and he is fouled. Well, there's a the penetration by Lamont Murray, he gets it 
from Jason Kidd past the three-point line, and yeah, he can take that jumper past the three-point, but to create an offense here off the missed shot by Gresh, which is a nice move underneath, they get it and go, but Kidd is going to pass to Lamont Murray coming from behind the three-point line, and look at him just penetrate. Great penetration there, and that's what Cal needs to get things moving. Gresh picked up the foul as first. Murray deep in the corner. The kid, kids turn around, and that's good for three. Jason Kidd's first points. 16 to 7 now. Lord Guard had to hustle the handle outside the Leduc. And the biggest thing for Green Bay is not to make mistakes. They have to take care of the basketball within this offense and not have turnovers. They got, want to get a shot off in their possession. We've got a tall lineup in there right now, and that and pass goes to Ryan McQueen. Travels coming out. Leduc at 6'7", Ludvigson at 6'9", Nordgaard at 6'6". All in there together. Well, you see Kid posting up, and then he takes it beyond the three-point line, just squares up and fires it. Gresham Martinez, the backcourt for the Phoenix. This is Martinez. No basket to foul before the shot. No basket. Wisconsin Green Bay foul. And Leduc. Well, you know, the foul. in Green Bay, they don't call those screens, Tim. They call them blocks. They uh, practice right across from where the Packers work out, Lambeau Field. And they decided, we don't set screens, we set blocks. Number three, Bobby Butler. And Eric Leduc, the 6'7 senior, is setting a block, and you see Buckley trying to get over the top, and they call the offensive foul. Seventeen foul against the Phoenix. Buckley at the line missed the first of the one and one. 16 to 7, the score remains. Martinez. Another three-pointer. The timing with Green Bay in their offense. They don't just run around a screen. They wait till the screen is set so the defense gets picked off. That's where a lot of teams throughout the country have trouble. They think they're running their offense, but they don't execute because they don't wait for the screens. Queen and Kidd, the backcourt pair now for the Golden Bears. Kidd's pass inside intended for Murray. And off the hands of number 52. Great hustle by Anwar McQueen. It is going to go to Green Bay, but it was a great hustle. And again, good defense by Gary Gresh. Once Jason Kidd got up into the air, he had to change his shot and look for the pass. Cal trying to extend their defense and trap. Short guard. Third guard on his second try taps it in 21 to 7. Wisconsin Green Bay, 7.59 to go first half. Number 12 seed in the West, and Aaron Pass. Luckily started to break for the hoop. Kit threw it behind him. 10 turnovers by California. We have 7.48 to go, and the upstart Wisconsin Green Bay Phoenix lead. The NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Cal has decided to press in a half-court trap, 2-2-1. Two, two, and what's happening is Green Bay is coming right down the middle because the rotation for Cal is not getting there. The Phoenix are a very good passing team, and you'll see it wide open down the lane because the rotation for Cal is not there. It's too slow. So we'll have to see if Cal stays in that press because of the kind of passing the Phoenix are able to do. Ball goes off Martinez. One of the few turnovers in this first half for Phoenix. A little bit out of control that time for Martinez. Sixth turnover by the Phoenix. Queen remains at guard with Jason Kidd. And Kidd driving. They count the basket. 
But Cal trying to create something off the penetration. Good move right there, going faking to the right. And Jason Kidd so adept with his left hand, kissing it off the glass. Baseline wide open. And there you see also that Norgard defensively with his back to the player. Six points for Kidd, 21 to 10, 11 point lead. Chris and Westlake in the ball game for the Phoenix, a junior guard number 10 from Rockford, Illinois. Now Cal picking up full court in a man-to-man. -man. Which Vanderbilt, is a lot, sorry. I'm sorry Tim, it's a lot different in that trap because they're now they're trying to create pressure in the full court in bringing the ball up where they're making the passes a little bit more difficult and not as close to the basket. Dick Bennett continuing to substitute freely. Logan Vandervelen back in. Westlake in for his first shift. Working the backcourt with Martinez. This is Westlake. So you just really like the way the Phoenix use their screens, even though shots missed by Westlake there. Good penetration. Kid working the lane. Gets the shot up and won't drop for him, but he's fouled. Kid will go to the line, and we've commented on Dick Bennett uh, using uh, a lot of his bench That's early here, perhaps in an effort to wear down the other man, California Golden Bears. Wisconsin has gone five deep already beyond their starters, and California really only has McQueen and Jones that, that they can use. After that, uh, they're down to a, a couple of guys that don't normally see a lot of action except when necessary. And of course, that's due to the injuries to Grigson, Roberts, and Duck. All out of action. And a great situation right here for Jason Kidd to be at the line. He wants to create things. Good free throw shooter. He has not been here in the course of the season in conference. But when you put him in a pressure situation, he has really come through. But Dick Bennett very upset with the way the calls are going right now. He wants his players to be able to play some kind of defense. California pressing down court here. Phoenix bring it up. Martinez. Gresh using LeDuc's screen. Now back for LeDuc. And LeDuc trying to bounce pass. It went off the foot of Michael Stewart. It really seems like the Bears have kind of picked up the intensity on defense because you almost see it in the offense with Green Bay, and they don't have to lose their patience, which they have not done so far. But that series right there, they looked a little impatient because of the Bears' intensity on defense. Still a nine-point lead for Wisconsin Green Bay. That's Vandervelden, a three-pointer. Uh, a 6'9 senior. Five points for him. Bowlers, Wisconsin. Well, I tell you, right now, Green Bay's got a lot of guys contributing offensively. You can't key in on one guy. Well, they don't have the superstar of the kid style or anything approaching it. But they play totally as a team, and they have that kind of balance. Three players in double figures over the season, and then Livingston with an 8.3 average, and Murlowski, the three-point shooter, with a 7.5 average. A tough break for Dick Bennett's team again. Eric LeDuc picking up his second personal, and this is what is going to kill Phoenix as far as getting into foul trouble. Michael Stewart made the all Pac-10 freshman team this year. Nicknamed Yogi. Good nickname. His older brother used to like the cartoon when uh, <laughs> Yogi Bear he was growing up. And when uh, Michael was a baby, he said, hey, you're going to be called Yogi. And, and it is stuck. Holy smokes, Michael Stewart. Kind of looked like it was a bear paw right there. Oh, boy, he wants to hide under his jersey after that shot. <laughs> Tournament jitters to the freshman, but he gets the second one. Michael Stewart. Let's go back and see what, what Michael thought when he missed it. Oh, little oh yuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I'll get it back. <laughs> 24 to 13. Wisconsin Green Bay leading. Kit checking Gresh closely. Gresh off the Olympics. Martinez pumps one. Off the front iron, rebounded by Berlowski. Vandervelden 
Won't go for him. Ludvigson rebounding. Zelowski missing. Well, they did all of the offensive rebounding job. It came away with no points. Kids for Murray, and Murray can't drop it. And the Bears collide with each other. A push underneath. Lamont Murray still hill scoreless, but another foul called on the Phoenix. Vanderveld in second. His second personal foul. Into the Wisconsin Green Bay line, number 55, Jeff Zavala. Jamison, the center, goes to the line. Ryan Jamison, 6'11", junior from Los Angeles. Jamison had a big game this year, 18 points against Cincinnati. California is low for a half this season. 22 points against Kansas very early in the season. They have 15 now with 5.09 left to play. Vanderbilt and going to the hoop, but it's taken right out of his hands. Good job by Jamison. Kid back the other way. Kid for Jamison, and Jamison's turnaround is good. Jamison defensively at 6'11", six, getting position and driving him down low. But look at Jason Kidd. He just hangs up in the air, sees everything as he's coming down, and Jamison was wide open and going to the free throw line. Chance for a three-point play for Jamison. Seven-point margin now. The Golden Bears chipping away at the early lead of the Phoenix of Green Bay. 10-2 run now for Cal. Seven points for Jamison. Over the last three minutes, the Golden Bears have turned it around. And Green Bay has not been as patient on their offense. Berlowski for three. No, well off. Rebound by Jamison. The last three possessions have been quick shots. Jason Kidd, short. Picked off by Gresh. Nordgaard's hook is good. 10 points for Jeff Nordgaard. The sophomore from Dawson, Minnesota. His first first foul by Jamison. Nordgaard, a nice little turnaround hook right there. Good control. Jamison with the body on the foul, but big bucket for Green Bay because Tim getting into a running game is not going to be to their advantage with Cal. Nordgaard misses the back end of the three. Cal controls the rebound. 4.20 to go. 26-18. Number 12 seeded Wisconsin Green Bay Phoenix from the Mid-Continent Conference. There are some folks tuning in and never even heard of that conference. But they can play with a big boy. There's a hit from outside by Murray. His first two points in four minutes left in the first half. He averages 24.5 a game. 6-7 junior from Fremont. Berlowski, and he rushed again. Twice now, Berlowski is unloaded early. Well, what happens, too, with Phoenix getting into a running game with the Bears, they've got to really hustle back quicker on defense, where before when they set up in their half court, they're making the Bears work hard. Nice turnaround by Ryan Jamison. The junior now has nine. The margin is four. Bears rebound, Murray. Kidd driving hard. He misses the layup. Ludvigson rebounded. But that's okay. I think Cal wants that pace. Even though Jason Kidd misses a shot like that, it still keeps the tempo up. Buckley pressing down court by himself. Gresh is knocked onto his backside by Murray, and Murray will pick up the penalty. The uh, foul on the play his first personal to Murray, his first. Timeout on the floor. And we have a timeout with 2.51 remaining, a five-point lead for the Phoenix. 
Tim Ryan with Ann Myers back here in Ogden, Utah, California. Did not score a field goal until 10-10 into this first half. They have battled back here now, and despite turning it over 10 times, trailed by only four points, 2.49 to go. Cal has come from behind a 10-point deficit three times this year to win at Arizona, at home against Arizona State, and at Washington. So while they have struggled early, they have battled back to make it close here near the end of this half. And those are three games that Lamont Murray struggled, did not score in double figures in any three of those games. Murray, one for seven from the field, just two points. The basket will not count. Second foul against Ryan Jamison. You can see uh, the Phoenix has cooled off. They shot 54% in the first 10 minutes. And the Bears were looking for their first basket since that time. 27% from the field. And as Ann has pointed out, they've simply not been as patient as they normally are under Dick Bennett's tutelage. A lot of that has to do with Cal's defense as far as picking up the intensity. But with a patient offense, you've just got to take the leadership of the seniors out there. Nice pass. That's more like it. That's their style. Ludvigsen from Nordgard. Sounds like the uh, from Scandinavian I'm national you say team those, here. You, just getting back from Lillehammer, <laughs> I'm letting you say those names. Jeff, Jeff Nordgard would be Nordgord <laughs> over there. Martinez. And it goes for Martinez. Now the Phoenix crank it up again. Eight points for him. 30-22 clutch basket by John Martinez, a senior on this team. He missed eight games early with a partial tear in that left knee. He decided to play the rest of the season with it. Kid using Jamison. Works the baseline. Now his pass is gathered in by Murray and then knocked away. It's a freebie for Martinez. Look at Kid come back. Good play by Martinez to Ledoux. I tell you, it's Phoenix fun to watch. Great fundamental basketball. Oh, he didn't take Kid for granted. He must have felt Kid making that charge back to stop the easy layup. Gresh is just staying right in between Jason Kidd and the basket. He's not letting them go anywhere. I see Eric LeDuc going to pick up his third personal. But watch Martin. Martinez knock it away all by himself. He sees Kidd, but watch, he's got his teammate LeDuc following behind him. That's good basketball teamwork, helping each other out. Three fouls on LeDuc. He'll leave to be replaced by Vandervelle and Logan Vandervelle. percent free throw shooter struggling in this game right now Murray with only one field goal in the first half but he's been known to come back in the second half California substitution number three Marty Buckley 32 to 23 Buckley comes in for the Golden Bears and Murray goes out Martinez, Gresh, Berlowski, Vandervelden, and Ludvigsen. The lineup for the Phoenix, and this is Ludvigsen. Rebounded by Buckley. Ludvigsen was wide open, but it's a quick shot by Phoenix. They need to take more time off the clock because they had all the clock going into halftime. 20 seconds left in the half. Kid playing for the last shot. McQueen checking Todd Bozeman at the Golden Bear bench for the play. Kid with the ball, running out of time. Gresh just doesn't want him to penetrate. And he tries for three. It won't go. After his own rebound, gets it up, and it is off the front iron as a buzzer sound. So Jason Kidd, eight points, two assists. They didn't score a basket until 10 minutes into the game. And the Phoenix of Wisconsin Green Bay, the number 12 seed, leads the number five seeded California Golden Bears, 32 to 23. 
with Ann Myers. There's the score at halftime, a nine-point lead for Wisconsin Green Bay. And for a report from what Todd Bozeman is thinking at this point, let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much. Because Todd Bozeman's very upset because they're playing Green Bay Wisconsin's face. He said, we need to pick it up. We need to penetrate. The game is Jason Pitts to take over. We've got to get him more involved, take better shots, be a little bit more patient, make the extra pass this half, and play a quicker transition game. Back over to you, Tim and Anthony. Okay, Jim. Well, you know, California is 0-2 and, and down by nine or more at the half. They lost to Arizona and Kansas in that circumstance. All the other numbers are against them as well because Wisconsin Green Bay, third in the nation in scoring defense, holds teams to 54.7 points a game. Well, if you double the California output, they would have only 46. They also hold teams to 37% shooting from the field. California shooting at 25%. And those are both number three in the country. Kidd and company have to crank it up here in order to come from behind and avoid an upset to the number 12 seeded Wisconsin Green Bay fighting Phoenix. Nordgaard, 12 points now as Green Bay opens the scoring in the second half. Well, you definitely got to get Buckley and Murray involved in this game. Keep the ball in kids' hands. And as Todd Bozeman was saying, Jim Gray was alluding to, you need to pick up the pace. It doesn't mean you need to take quick shots. You take a good shot selection, make that extra pass, make sure it's a good shot selection. Jason Kidd, eight points, six rebounds, two assists in the first half. Turned it over three times as well. It's a team Cal that averages 18 assists a game, and there they turn it over. Jamison lost it. He was the leading scorer for Cal in the first half. Cal started to come back towards the end of that first half when they picked up pressure man-to-man -man full court defense. But to keep it going in this altitude, and with not very much bench to help you out, it's very difficult. Martinez to the corner for Nordgaard, and he hits for three. 14 points now for Jeff Nordgaard, the sophomore from Dawson, Minnesota. Kid in traffic, off for Murray. Murray missing. Fresh rebound. Fresh Martinez, Ludvigsen, Nordgaard. That shot Murray took was a little bit like Stewart's free throw in the first half. Yeah, We've seen did. Murray throughout the course of the year, though, nail those down, but he obviously has not gotten into this game yet. Lipkinson, the senior from Edgewood, Iowa. 38 to 23, Todd Bozeman says, hold everything. Timeout, California. 18 18 to go in the second half. Coming soon on CBS. Well, it's that time of year again. So many games to watch. Hey, wait a minute. You might actually learn something. No, really. Did you know you can buy an Achieva Special Edition from Oldsmobile with anti-lock brakes, airbag, air... CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the first round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Oldsmobile, AT&T, and by Midas. Well, the Cheeseheads are happy here. That's the student band for the Phoenix of Wisconsin Green Bay. And maybe a little bit of luck of the Irish right now, but you see the shots from the outside. But look at all the shots from the inside that Green Bay is getting against this Cal team. Cal, you would think would be able to use their height a little bit more, but they cannot control Green Bay getting the ball inside. California starting badly again here in the second half, and here's a freebie. Ludvigsen. California hasn't scored. Great heads-up play by Berlowski, getting the ball down court. Actually, it was Norgard. Sorry. 17, 46 remaining. And a foul called on Gresh as Kidd started his drive. Number 22, Jerry Gresh. His second personal foul. That's the first Wisconsin Green Bay. Look at all the green jerseys down inside. And then all of a sudden, Ludvigsen takes off, and nobody for Cal able to get down and spot him. Alley oop for Murray. Nice play. Well, that's got to break the ice for Lamont Murray. He's got to get things rolling for Cal. 15 point lead for the Phoenix. Well, some of the 
coaching cognizant. They know what Dick Bennett is capable of with his good coaching of fundamentals. Our own Al McGuire commented on the telecast a couple of weeks ago that this team could do this. They could upset California in the first round. And they are in good shape right now. Well, how simple, playing basic basketball. You get the ball down low, little pump fake, because today the players love to block shots. They go for any little fake. And you see Nor Jeff Nordgaard going up for a little pump fake and continuing in it for the basket. 16 points for Nordgaard. Missing on the try for a third point. Skid back the other way for the Golden Bears. Followed his own shot, won't go for him. Murray has the rebound. And Murray driving. The basket will count. He is fouled. LeDuc. Big offensive rebound for Cal to keep things going. Jason Kidd getting frustrated a little, trying to create things. And here the ball just bounces back to Murray. Goes to the basket because he's not having any luck to the outside. And they call the block. Fourth personal foul on Eric LeDuc, the senior. He gets a rest. Vanderbilt is in for him. 42-27. Back out for Ludvigson. Off the mark. Rebound. Kid way up for that one. right now for Kidd, he, in a sense, on the break, is looking for the shot because nobody's helping him out. Big bucket for Lamont Murray. Murray. Just helped him. Lamont Murray now has nine. Remember, Murray averages 24.5 a game. Struggled in the first half. Martinez <laughs> fresh. Martinez from three-point range. Yes. 11 points, Martinez. Murray traveling, trying to back his way in and at least draw a foul, picks up the travel. Well, four green jerseys just holding their ground. And Murray trying to get things happen. Cal is looking to get the ball to Lamon Murray, trying to create something. He makes the pivot, and I... I don't know where they call the travel. It might have been before the move, but not afterwards. Jamison diving did knock the ball out. Come on in, come on in. Bay keeps the ball. And Jackson comes in. Let me talk a little bit about this pressure defense of Dick Bennett. And I was talking to him yesterday, and he was saying, I asked him, you know, who's kind of influenced you on your coaches? He said, well, a lot of early high school coaches, but Bobby Knight when he was at West Point because of the way they play defense. And Green Bay does a lot of that that they do at Indiana. Just good, solid, fundamental defense and executing their offense. Jackson in the backcourt now, number 12. Eric Jackson is a sophomore from Milwaukee. Feet inside for Nordgaard. Perfect pass from Ludvigsen. The Scandinavian connection. We're in the green on St. Patrick's Day. Cal at the 15-minute mark really need to get pick up the pace, get things going, because otherwise a lot of people are expecting to see Adrian Autry from Syracuse and Jason Kidd matched up. They're not going to get that opportunity. Murray's hook won't go. Follow does. Buckley got a hand on it. 7-31. Lord guard. Bears rebound. Hurry for Kidd. Kidd three-point try. And Livingston will be charged with the foul as he was battling Ryan Jamison for the One of the reasons 
that Green Bay is able to get wide open again. You see the screens. Cal is sagging back a little bit. Can't get through the screens. And there you see, cutting from the top, guard guard, getting an easy two. Achille Jones. Alley-oop try for Buckley. Hurry with a follow. He's fouled by Vanderbilt. Wisconsin Green Bay foul. Number 44, Jeremy Ludvigson. His third personal foul. That is, that foul. is third on Ludvigson. Pardon me, pick up the foul. His third, two in a row, so he'll Wisconsin get a rest. Green Bay, substitution and that brings in Jeff Zabata, the senior center, 6'9", from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. At the free throw line for California, number 21, Lamont Murray. Dick Bennett has to be using a lot of guys on Lamont Murray, but I'm sure it's not what he really planned for because of the foul situation that they're in. Murray gets one for 10, and he'll have another try, 47-32. Mentioned that he had two points early in the season against Washington and came back and scored 20 in the second half. Murray, a 77% free throw shooter. Picks up a pair, 37-33 the score. Now the Bears pressing down court. Gresh with Kidd right on him. North guard, Gresh outside. Green Bay has done a very good job taking care of the basketball. Jackson is fouled by Jones, Achille Jones, a little too tight on him. His second personal. His second personal goal. From last year's team, Achille Jones, a senior this year, was voted most improved player last year. He's not had a lot of minutes. You hear Cal, they're talking a lot more out there, more so than they did in the first half. And they're checking closely now. Tabata underneath. Nevada can't get the shot away. And the Bears come up with a turnover. Murray. Ball still loose, and Martinez. Three on two. And a good play by Buckley to knock it away. But Wisconsin Green Bay will keep possession. Well, it just seems everything that... Green Bay is doing also, Tim. It's almost right. They're coming up with all the loose balls. Well, they're calling a very tight game as far as they, what happened in the first half. I know Dick Bennett was not pleased with some of the calls, but this here Cal has been called for two fouls on the outside away from the basket. Michael Stewart picked up that one. Officials are Leonard Wirtz, the referee from Mount Healthy, Ohio. Edward Corbett from Yonkers, New York. Rick Hartzell from Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Dort guard got loose but missed the shot. Rebound, Stewart. Kid with it. think well why how, they're going to call an offensive foul how come they can't get down and, and score in that break situation it's not a break situation because green bay is getting back on defense and not allowing cal to really create the, anything in the open floor buckley with a push off the ball foul for california that's a fourth team ball into the wisconsin green bay line number 44 buckley bears trailing 47 to 33 Green Bay at this point. 12 minutes, 15 seconds left. Regulation time. Drop for Martinez. And another foul. Over Jason Kidd's back. His second personal foul. Two against Savada. All of the big men. Wisconsin Green Bay have at least two.
Kidd penetrating in deep and drops it off the glass. Ten points. Kidd's feet are so quick he kind of sneaks in, just working his way in as close as he can. Before you know it, he's there underneath. A steal. Buckley. And Buckley with a good effort, stealing from Vandervelden and making it pay. Ten-point margin. Six points for Buckley. You see, you can feel the positive buys from Cal. As far as the team, they've had two positive things happen, scoring the baskets, another turnover. Rush with a bad pass. Jones. Well, Bennett trying to call a timeout for his team. Three quick baskets by Cal. Puts him right back in it. 11-14 remains, 47-39. to 39. The Bears coming back on Wisconsin Green Bay. Media had it that way. They already had me in the NBA, and and I, that's the kind of bad. But uh, I, I want to come back, and uh, I'll make my decision when uh, the time comes after the Final Four, hopefully. But um, I, this isn't going to be my last tournament. I have six games here, and then I have a whole nother season with Cal, hopefully. <laughs> well, that's Jason Kidd yesterday, and uh, certainly the sense of that is that he's planning on being back with California. Well, he wants to play baseball this season, too. He played in uh, high school. He was an outfielder and a catcher, and he hit 333. Todd Bozeman avoided uh, discussion of the possibility of Kidd turning pro in yesterday's press conference here in Ogden. You can see Kidd in his interview with us indicating that uh, he's thinking more about more NCAA tournaments before his entry into the NBA. And that is Gresh. His first two points of the game. 49 to 39, and Dick Bennett, when he called that timeout, told his team, Jim Gray, over there uh, listening in, that, uh, hey, guys, you're playing like you're panicking, like you're the team that's trailing. He said, you're ahead. No reason to play that way, like you're afraid to win this thing. Also coming out of that timeout, Green Bay's got to do a little bit better job on the defensive boards because Cal now has 12 offensive boards, and you're going to see Jones picking up the, the foul, but... Cal has 12 offensive boards, and Green Bay holds their opponents to only 11 offensive boards. Third personal on Achille Jones. Now remember, uh, they have only real two real substitutes, this undermanned California team. Injury racked all season long. McQueen and Jones, both guards. And Jones with three fouls. Martinez back the other way. And Martinez cops it up with a bad pass. Four on two, California. Kid. And the basket missed at the foul call. Murray missed it inside. That was just great hustle by both teams. Wisconsin Green Bay foul, number 22. Gary Ball's Gresh. knocked away. Good defense by Cal. Buckley trying to keep it alive. Gresh just staying on his feet. Stays after it. And then back down the other way, Martinez does not make a good pass. And Cal trying to come down and maybe a little bit too unselfish because Jason Kidd, once you're down there that low, you can't keep passing it. Exactly my sentiments. That was one pass too many there. He was in position to shoot. Fresh picking up the foul on that play. Murray at the line. And he has 13 points now. 49. 41, the lead Wisconsin Green Bay. Close as they've been in a long time. 12 points for Murray in this half. <laughs> Martinez won't go for him. Kid up high to rebound. And Murray fouled at the baseline. Well, in this game, if you reach in, you're going to get called for a foul. And Gary Gresh, trying to cut off baseline against Lamont Murray as Murray's going up. You see Green Bay trying to get back on defense, and they do a good job of it. There you see green, three green jerseys, and Lamont taking the baseline. Four personals on Gresh. They'll have to take him out for a bit. 9-18 to go. Murray at the line again. 
Murray, that nice shooter's touch. You see the roll, the seams going to the basket. When you shoot the ball like that, it has a tendency to grab the rim a little bit better. One of two for Murray. 14 points. Gilly Jones, yes. Three-pointer. And good penetration by Jason Kidd. What Cal needs to do is penetrate like that and then kick it back out to their outside shooters. Four points, the margin now. The Golden Bears battling back since against that, the upstart Phoenix. Since that timeout that Dick Bennett called, Green Bay has only scored one basket. Driving line. Sixth team foul against the Golden Bears, so possession will be Green Bay. Bennett calling the play number two. Vandervelden outside to Ludvigsen. Berlowski. Martinez. Won't drop for him. Battle for the rebound and kid way up against the taller Ludvigsen. Jones. Vanderbilt in, and he's fouled by Kidd. So Jason Kidd's only first foul, but he is so quick. He sneaks up behind you, knocks that ball away. Comes down, good penetration. Almost had the lane if he had stopped a little bit more to look at the basket, but Jones misses it. Good rebounds by Green Bay. And Kidd and involved in the official, but Jason Kidd is just so quick. And you talk so much about his passing and how much he sees the floor. It's his defense that makes him an all-around player also. Rebounds, does everything. Monty Buckley comes in for Michael Stewart. For the Golden Bears, McQueen is in at guard. Vandervelde, six points for him now. 8.25 to go. 50 to 45. Vanderbilt is trying to make it a six-point lead. He cannot. Kid rebounding. Murray. Over Vanderbilt. Well, Three points. That's basically how Lamont Murray scores. Guys in his face. <laughs> Three-point margin. 50 to 47. It's an easier shot for him. <laughs> yes, I guess. He's been hot in the second half. Bothered by Kidd. 13 points for Murray here in the second half. Lowski missed the reverse layup. It's rebounded by Murray. Kidd got it back off the hands of Martinez. And throws up a dandy. 12 points for Jason Kidd. What a comeback. 50 to 49. Martinez, his bank won't go. Vanderbilt in rebounding. Hooked away by Kidd. That goes out of bounds. Green Bay ball. So with 7.15 to go, an 18-point lead has evaporated to one. Tim Ryan and Ann Myers on the campus of Weber State University in Ogden, Utah. And the California Golden Bears have clawed their way back from 18 down, 50 to 49 the score now. The Phoenix of Wisconsin Green Bay, the number 13, the number 12 seed here in the West region. Leading by just a point. And a top. California Golden Bear. And Jason Kidd saying, who touched it? Yeah. <laughs> and you can see one from 11, one for 11 from the field. In the last four minutes, Cal has outscored Green Bay 10 to 3. Dick Bennett has to get his team calm down again and back with the ball in the bucket. Nordgaard won't go for him and it's rebounded by Jones to Kidd. Kidd pulls up underneath. McQueen, the freshman from Washington, D.C., has California in front by one. The 
Number five seeds, 22 and seven coming in, won three of their last four games, and having to struggle from behind. Court guard to Ludvigsen, he lost it. Kick the other way. And he coughs it up to Martinez, anticipating that pass. Three on two. The Dukes, Ludvigsen foul by Jones. Some two nifty guards out there looking for the passes on the break. Martinez really knew what Jason Kidd was going to do on that break because he went left and he had looked right. And Martinez anticipated very nicely, then came back and waited for his teammates to fill the lane. Four fouls on Jones, and I want to tell you, uh, Kidd is starting to show some wear and tear here. He is resting hands on knees there on the foul line. I want to know it, how much longer those shorts are going to get. But he has been up and down this floor at full tilt here in the second half on virtually every series. And he is showing some wear and tear. 6-11 to go. Remember the altitude here in Ogden, Utah, over 4,000 feet. We're tied at 51. Kidd and McQueen, the backcourt for the Golden Bears. Jones with four fouls on him on the bench. Murray kept alive by McQueen. Well, you got McQueen running the point, really, and, and what it'll do, it'll free up Jason Kidd when he goes down low. <laughs> Jason Kidd in this essentially seven-man roster, the exception of walk-on Dan Gura and reserve Ula Tunji Dean. Kidd has had to go the distance here, and he has done so. In and out on the three-point try. Good effort by Stewart. Murray won't go for him, and Green Bay rebounds. You can see a lot of those short shots are short because it's the legs are not quite there coming down to the stretch. Shots are short and shorts are long. <laughs> I'm glad you can say it. <laughs> Gresh. Inside and Nordgaard all tied up on a double team. Now the Phoenix uh, moving the ball around as they did using the screens in the first half down to five. On the shot clock, Gresh will have to throw it up. He does, and he hits. Two points, Green Bay, 53-51. Gary Gresh does not score a lot of points, averages 3.7 a game. He's hit two key buckets in this second half when it's count when it, they have needed the basket right at the 35-second clock. Murray working inside. Nice play, Lamont Murray. 18 points, 14 of them here in the second half for Murray. Martinez for three. Jason Kidd, Buckley, California by two, eight points for Buckley. Wow, what a pass. You almost think that he's out of control and all of a sudden somebody's right there. play by Nordgaard. He knew that Jason Kidd was on him, and he posted down low, asking for that basketball. 20 points for Nordgaard, tied at 55. Wisconsin Green Bay led this game by 18. California didn't score a field goal in the first half until after the 10-minute mark, and here we are, under three minutes to go and tie. Murray's been the main man. In and out. McQueen, push, foul. Ludvigsen. Wisconsin Green Bay foul, number 44, Jeremy Ludvigsen. Nick Bennett was down on the floor on all fours, yelling at his team. On defense, move on defense. And then scream out. Before he comes out any farther. <laughs> That's a great 
picture of Dick Bennett who, who doesn't look in repose like he would be out there banging the hardwood, but he's doing it. Of course, he's seeing an 18-point lead go against the number five seed in the West. And it is McQueen with a chance to put the Bears in front. He does. Well, McQueen and Jones have come into this game for the Bears. We talked about their subs and definitely have helped Cal in this second half. Just Gotta let off a little bit of a load. McQueen at the point, handling the ball, taking the pressure off Jason Kidd a little bit, and also Jones hitting some outside shots. The foul would change to Martinez, we're told, so there are only three fouls on Ludvigson. Of Green Bay. A one-point margin, and underneath is Northgard. 22 points on a good feed. 22 points for Northgard. Green Bay by one. Murray. In and out. Stewart rebounding. He's fouled, and let's see, it could be either Ludvigson or Vandervelde. Which doesn't Green Bay foul number 44, Jeremy Ludvigson. Now he's got four. On Ludvigson, that is his And it is Ludvigson. Four on him. Correction, that is his fourth personal foul. Well, Dick Bennett was making sure because it was announced that it was his fifth. And right, well, that was the, because of the one they changed just you caught uh, it. previously. You caught it. Well, uh, <laughs> our good statistician, Dick Fossing, passed that on to us immediately. They changed it after they had signaled it on Ludvigson, the one previous to this one. That's what this discussion is about. At the free throw line for California is Michael Stewart. Stewart is at the line, and as uh, we understand it to be so, it is four fouls now on Ludvigson. Stewart shoots two. Stewart will shoot two, a one-point margin. He can send the Bears back in front. Fresh, the Duke, and Ludvigson each with four. Jim Gray came over and said that they just forgot to tell a PA guy. <laughs> Well, there's enough excitement here for things like that to happen. 2.07 to go as Stewart misses the first. Hits the second, the freshman from Sacramento. And we have 2.07 to go, tied at 57 here in Ogden. Well, it's been Lamont Murray scoring here with the help of Jason Kidd, setting him up frequently. 18 points, 14 of those in the second half. California with 17 offensive rebounds, and they have uh, taken over the boards again here in the second half. It has been their comeback. 18 points down, and they are now tied at 57. Two minutes to go. Tim Ryan and Ann Myers here in Ogden. Number five seeded California Golden Bears having to battle back against this somewhat unknown team from Wisconsin Green Bay. Dick Bennett's squad on the Mid-Continent Conference tourney and were considered by insiders as a possible upsetter here in Ogden. Al McGuire knew. And the turnover, a costly one. Kid slows it down, 130 and under. Cal's defense has really created their offense, has gotten them back into this game. Also, their offensive rebounding. They've got 11 rebounds offensive in the second half. California overcame a 20-point deficit against Arizona State back in February. That was early in the first half. They were down 34 to 14. Came back to win that game. Vanderbilt and battles for the ball. What a heads-up play by... He comes up with it, and they take the timeout immediately, 103. Bozeman wants the, the tie-up for the jump ball, but Eric LeDuc is calling timeout. As soon as he hits, kind of a forced pass right into there to the middle, but LeDuc is calling timeout, timeout, and they wanted a jump ball, Cal did. And it is LeDuc, not Vanderbilt. A good job by him. We'll be back. Jim Ryan and Ann Myers in Ogden. It will be California ball. They had the arrow when the LeDuc came up with the loose ball to get the timeout for Green Bay. Green Bay got to take care of the basketball, keep it in the hands of Martinez, have him get a shot, or else Jeff Nordgaard. 
but just run your offense. Set your screens, look for the good open shot. Let me correct that. Possession arrow was Green Bay's as the Duke grabbed it. Cal has to play solid defense, not foul. Under 40 seconds we go. It's knocked out of bounds out the hands of Murray. Green Bay still with possession. 37.8 left. And 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Martinez for Nordgaard. Nordgaard's been the hot man. He hits. 24 points for Nordgaard. And McQueen gets timeout for the California Golden Bears. 27.2 remaining to play. We'll be back at Ogden, Utah for the conclusion of this one in a moment. 59 to 57, the Phoenix on top of the Golden Bears. Remember, they led by 18. California battling back. Uh, 27.2 seconds left to play here with Green Bay up by two. What's the next move? Well, you can't have hindsight, but I, I really think that Cal made a mistake when they had that steal. The last two possessions when Jason Kidd stole it and they walked it up and wasted time off the clock. I thought they should have kept attacking. They did not get any kind of shot off at all. Now they got to come out. 20 seconds, 27 seconds left. You can't take a quick shot, but you got to take a shot within the course of at least 10 seconds to give yourself time enough that in case Green Bay plays good defense or they get the rebound, that you've got time enough to come back down and get another possession. Well, Dick Bennett's team right now has given up 57 points. They average 54.7 over the season, and they are a very solid team defensively. The Golden Bears have been in this situation before when it's been decided by five or less in the two years under Todd Bozeman. They have won nine and lost one, but they're down by two here. 27.2 remaining in regulation time. Let's show you that play that Ann was referring to. Well, Jason Kidd just does a great job defensively posting up, and he's such a good defensive player, whether he's on the outside, on the perimeter, or whether he's down low. Then they walk it up. They've got a chance to push it up and save time on the clock. And here they don't even, and within this course of possession, they don't even get a shot off. And there's Jason Kidd's parents. California ball, McQueen. Can't waste too seconds. much time. Kidd. Kidd's got a shot. In and out. 14.8. Now look for Cal to foul quickly. Now waste time. Resch will inbound it. Martinez. And he's fouled. Five on Jones. Achille Jones. Off the bench. Picks up his fifth foul. That'll bring Michael Stewart back. Martinez, a 75% free throw shooter, hasn't been at the line in today's game, but he's been a clutch player for him. The senior from Milwaukee has been one of the most poised players out there through the entire game for Dick Bennett. Uh, I think he personifies the, the kind of attitude that Bennett likes to have out there on the floor. He shot the ball well. He averages 10-2 a game. More poise for Martinez. <laughs> 61 to 57. The clock 
shows 61 to 9. Uh, Green Bay would love to have this margin, but it is 61 to 57 on our CBS scoreboard, and they are trying to repair the scoreboard here. Dick Bennett That's telling Weaver's his team State. to just come back down, Tim, and if they're going to take that three-point shot, back off. Don't follow them. Stewart will inbound it. Kidd will handle it. Fresh backs up with him. Kidd drives down the lane and missed it. Knocked out of bounds. Should be California ball. It is. Well, Dick Bennett sure knew that drive was coming because he wanted his team to just collapse in that middle. Six seconds. got him calmed down when he needed it most at the end for a four-point win over California and they'll next meet Syracuse. Let's go to Pat O'Brien in New York. Hi, Tim. Thank you very much. Thornton, the number four seed, 